All right. That's just, that's all set up. What else am I? Oh, I forgot to do that. There we go. Now everything is all set up nice and neat. And I know I said I was going to do Phantom Brigade for today, but A, I'm tired, and B, we haven't done Mech Warrior in a long time, and C, I already had Mech Warrior set up on the streaming things, so I decided to just go through and just play some more Mech Warrior for today. So, uh, sorry to anybody that was looking forward to uh, Phantom Brigade, though, to be fair, that one hasn't been doing as well as uh, Mech Warrior. So honestly, some of you, majority, let's be honest, like the two of you wa that actually stick around to watch it, every stream probably do not care. Oh, Rare Griffin. Oh, that... I did not know that was there. You know, now that I think about it, uh, operations, uh, no, it's not under oper, is it under operations? Stats, where, where do I find the, uh, oh, there's the database. Let's see, Marauder, Marauder, Marauder 2. All right, let's see here. Look at how fancy it looks. Jesus, it gets a giant thing on top of it. They moved the cannon from the side to on top of it. I don't know how I like that. <laughs> don't know if I like that or not. But uh, here's another version we haven't seen yet. But anyway, most Dragoons contacted Blackwell Industries in 3010 to take the already frame or under design and turn it into a 100 ton assault mech working from existing plans meant for a short design phase with the Dragon Zeta Battalion having one among their ranks a little over two years later. Only minor changes in original means this mech remains powerfully armed, now sporting as much armor as an Atlas, and adding jump jets to make this mech a terrifying sight on the battlefield. Currently under exclusive contract with Wolf Dragoons, many military units are clamoring for Brackwell to sell to wider arms markets, although they very rarely one can be spotted outside the Dragoon ranks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I want it. At least I want... I want to see what the other version is as well. Yeah, we got some rare equipment here. We might as well take a look at what uh, these guys got here at this industrial zone. It's... <coughs> Ooh, buy those. Buy those. Head over to Blue Diamond. What do you got, Blue Diamond? What do you got for us today? Do they have for us today? How much? Off to here we go. Uh, they have a Banshee. They have Phoenix Hawk 3S. Yeah, we already looked at a 3S before. Double heat sink.
Not really much I want to sell off. Also just selling off anything that's not tiered. We now have 26 double heat sinks. And we definitely do not need 25 singles. I say we got a decent amount of oh, jump jets. Let's get rid of those. Because honestly, I have not made a single mech that. Well, I do have one mech that uses jump jets. They honestly aren't rare or hard to find. Watch as I say that, and that will end up becoming the case where they are rare and hard to find. <laughs> I could do some conflicts down here. But these are harder difficulty tie areas, and I'd rather not poke that fire the 10 foot pole. And these are 7 to 9 zones. What do we got in here? Anything that I can take up without peeving off one of my big money makers. That's a potential one we could take up. That one's got potential. Oh, by the way, uh, where is my Bounty Hunter one? There it is. We got you a new large pulse laser. Where is it? It's not much additional damage or range, but any additional damage or range is honestly better than nothing. I should have uh, I should negotiate to see if uh... Alright they are willing to give us an airstrike So honestly I will take that Take both of them actually Might be able to save some money on that Ooh my computer is running slow today Just double check Task manager to see what else is running at the moment. Don't know why that's open. Why EA has background services, but I'd rather you not. OVR, don't need that on at the moment. Steam decided to open up like 50 different client helpers. It doesn't look like anything else is using up stuff at the moment. Don't know why that resetted. I 
That might explain one of the reasons why my computer is running slow lately. That should help it out a bit. And that seems to have done some of the trick. Wait, anyway, didn't we get another uh, assault mech? No, we got another heavy mech, didn't we? We bought something. <laughs> I remember that much. We bought something. Completely forgot what we bought, though. <laughs> what did we buy last time? We bought a thing. That's, that's about all I know. We bought a thing. Did it go into our storage? Oh, yeah. I think I bought it and then threw it into cold storage, didn't I? I think. I don't remember. I bought us another assault pack. Guess I didn't. That or I didn't save properly. Oh well. Off we go. Hopefully those quick adjustments uh, end up fixing some of the lag issues I've been having today. I took the wrong marauder. Oh well. The contents have the potential of being explosive. Airstrike support is available on this mission. I'll let you know when they reach the target area. Roger that, Major. We're gonna try and stay out of the uh, line of sight base for a bit, as I call it, airstrikes. Because we might be able to get away with just uh, airstriking at the Alpha, death. This is Sierra 2-1. Be advised. We are in the air and awaiting your orders. Sierra 2-1, out. And there it is. I'm detecting unidentified mechs in the area. Moving in to investigate. Alpha 1-1, one, one, this is Sierra 2-1. Roger that. Commencing bomb run now. Sierra 2-1, out. Sierra 2-1. Be advised. Strike payload is ready and awaiting your tango confirmation. Sierra 2-1, out. Alpha 1-1, one, one. this is Sierra 2-1. Acknowledging strike pattern. Alpha package is out for delivery. Sierra 2-1, out. They're operating at reduced efficiency. Keep on smashing. I'm showing heavy damage to a number of the facility structures. We appear to be about halfway there. So apparently that spot over there just wasn't part of the base. It, it just looked like it was. Oh, House Korea is sending in the reinforcement cavalry. Oh, you guys chose a poor place to land. Hello, and welcome to the Rosal Hague Republic. Well, at the current moment, we're working for the Commonwealth, but we're, we're, we're part of the Republic, so screw you anyway. <laughs> screw you anyway, it makes sense in a way.
All right, let's go deal with this facility ourselves, since apparently air striking it to death was only a dream. <laughs> I was hoping to airstrike it to death to save on cost damage, but uh, yeah, that that didn't exactly work out how I wanted it to. Oh, hello there. Oh, they are dropping in more. Let's get out of here while we got the chance. Uh, not really much to worthwhile salvage. salvage, but honestly, not really much to do with said mech. How's our standings? Still hating me. <laughs> Still just acknowledging the fact that we exist. Not really much else. So let's head on over here. This area should be a bit easier to operate in. However, I don't think they're going to let us off the hook with just fighting a... Oh, you give me a free Marauder. I, I probably just end up selling off a 3R because I, I don't have any room in my inventory for any more marauders that don't make any sense but you know we'll take the contract anyway free 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 money is free money but anyway uh let's see here that's against the russell Hague public it's against the independents independents I could take this up as a way to get some quick cash. Ooh, two multi-missions for uh, Federated Commonwealth. Yes, please.
we should probably do the harder one first, just just for the sake of my existence. Careful, Commander. The sensors are malfunctioning due to the weather, and your visibility on this mission will be compromised as well. Where's flat? There's flat. I'll take the catapult. The heavy ordnance and the uh, missile defense should definitely help us out quite a bit. I should probably swap out its PPC cannons for uh, pulse cannons. So to be fair, I like the look of the part particle cannons a lot more on this thing than I do the laser cannons. Laser cannons are just too short for me on this one. Uh, I should have taken an airstrike. Expect reinforcements. Oh, I shot and I missed. That's what I get for using standard PPC. There we go. That's a hit. I didn't hit anything. Bring it down. Leave nothing left for them to salvage. Target applied. Combat vehicle rolling in. Be sure that's a lot of tanks. Oh, that's not good. Take you down real quick. Well, gentlemen, you know the rules of engagement. Take it down. Oh, those are the more reinforcements they were talking about behind me, aren't they? Heavy 
Oh wait, now I remember what we bought last time. It was the Jenner. The heroic Jenner. And come back online. Free stuff. We'll begin the recovery procedure. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. Group target received. Always good to restock on ammo. Oh, that's one panther destroyed, and a whole lot of damage done to us. Any of the mechs damaged too badly for another conflict? Probably. I can salvage two mechs. There isn't really much else to collect. Alright. Your stalker is definitely not getting deployed next time. King Crab's still operational. Atlas is going in for Extreme repairs. Weather conditions will interfere with your sensors and will most likely restrict visibility. Be careful out there. And let's go down here. Sell off these. So we don't need those. There he is he uh, well first I need Ella. There's Gotta Ella. Grab her stalker. Then where is Haywire? Haywire. 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 There's Haywire. We got this, no problem. Give them the battle master. That's for me. Swap out for my marauder. King Crab pretty much took no damage during that last battle, so it's fine. It's fine for the next one, which I didn't read what the next mission was, but you know, it's a, it's a, I'm sure it's fine. Whatever it is, I'm sure we're equipped for it. Oh, we're defending. Oh. Oh. Don't tell me we have to run out and destroy. Copy. 
You guys go deal with that centurion. Jesus Christ. Who thought putting artillery on a defense mission like this was a good idea? Because they're just going to keep shelling the facility. Like, if the artillery was closer, I could see that being as a thing. But the artillery is like 50 miles away. Yeah, I'm going as fast as I can, Major. I kind of regret not bringing the uh, catapult. as fast as I can, Major. Also, apparently there's another artillery gun over here that just isn't marked. Are these guns firing or no? They aren't marked on the map. We haven't even seen like majority of the enemy yet. I've just been running around having to deal with this. Enemy forces are on the verge of overrunning this position, Commander. We need to push back with all we have right now. Yeah, the boys are on it, Major. More hostiles inbound on your position. <laughs> Literally, how is it they're all on top of the enemy and they aren't killing it? Alright, I'm gonna have order them to immediately start engaging the uh, Shadow Hawk. Okay, that's another less artillery gun. Oh, they're being, they have units being deployed behind them. If I'm having to like command a battle, I can't even see because I'm having to run around. I ain't got time for treasure, Major. They leveled the workers' housing units. Garrison Commander, I am so sorry for what is happening right now, but you really shouldn't have allowed the enemy to set up artillery positions. Focus the commander's target. Guys, come on. Seriously. I'm having to run around right now dealing with artillery. Like, this is the most BS situation I've ever been thrown in by this game. Oh uh, yes, a defense mission. But hey, there's artillery. And we're not going to tell you about the artillery until you get in there. And then you're going to realize that you're going to need a faster mech. Not my fault. You decided to completely screw me over, Major. <laughs> Why was there artillery there? Listen, if the artillery was all in one place, I wouldn't have minded it as much. It would have, it would have, it would have, me off a little bit. 
But hey, at least it was in one. If it was in one place, I wouldn't have to be running around every bloody corner. is too spread out to support us in force, but a handful of defenders are on site to assist. Nothing on scopes at the moment, but don't get comfortable. Hostiles are right. reported in the area. I'm just gonna send off my mechs to go out and hunt down those artillery guns. Hopefully, they'll be able to do that job. Hopefully, they won't get stuck. Because I have to dispatch all of them. Why did I send my slowest mechs to go deal with the farthest away ones? Um, Garrison Commander, I'm going to let you know right now, you're going to need to have your own boys hold off the enemy while we try to deal with the fact that uh, you allowed the enemy to set up artillery positions. Yeah, without my mechs there, their mechs are getting torn apart. Oh, what are you doing? I'm hoping that you took out your artillery piece. Faster, faster, faster! Dang it. I'm waiting on my last one to take out their artillery piece so that way then I can have all of my boys concentrate on the enemy mechs because right now they're taking fire that they really don't need to be taking. And I can't identify which one is currently where because the map doesn't tell me where they are, it just tells me the general gist of which of what mech class is where. Wish it was a bit more specific. Come on, destroy that last artillery piece. Is it off the board or no? Blow it. This location has suffered a beating. Try to get the attention of as many opponents as possible. We need to keep their attention on us and not their All objective. Alright, right, just that gun appears to be firing. I think the guns have been silenced. I hope that all of the guns have been silent. I hope that those other ones we can target aren't going to suddenly activate halfway through. That matches the class of beast hole we're after. Take it out. If you find the acquisition, just oh, hey, treasure. in order to pick it up. Nice to have some extra ballistics. I missed. Alright. Enemy mech eliminated. Target destroyed. Additional forces entering the engagement area, Commander. Be 
Be on the lookout for them. Enemy reinforcements spotted in the area. They look like they're heading your way. A demolisher tank? I don't think I've seen a demolisher tank. You heard the commander. Take that target. New target, Shadowhawk. Here come the Orions trying to flank us. Right on cue. Beetle on approach. Please tell me some of you are in range to deal with that. Now I'm having to walk around an entire mountain range. Guys, come on. You are literally on top of them. Get in there and deal with those targets. I don't mind if I run over a few cars, right? Boys, move out and deal with those targets. We can't let them get anywhere near the base anymore. It's already taking too much damage as is. Oh, hello. A lovely day for some lovely weather. Wouldn't you say, Mr. Uh, Mr. Wolverine? How are we alive? <laughs> uh, I swear Mech Warrior is punishing me for leaving it alone for so long. I'm incapacitated. I'll let you know, Gabe. I am not incapacitated. Uh, to be fair, mine has to go in for repairs. 
The Battlemaster is in somewhat okay condition. So is the Stalker. Uh, the Crab is not seeing a nice day. <laughs> Crab is not having a nice day. Alright, let's see here. Heavy, Crusader, it's Colonel. I believe I had to swap myself out. There he is. Check right. the firing arcs. Stay frosty. Crabs under repairs. Means I gotta swap it out. I forgot to set the atlas to be fixed. Is the Atlas pilot again? Uh, I've already forgotten who the Atlas pilot was. Great. <laughs> Great. Oh yeah, it was Kaz. Or at least that's who we've unanimously decided was in charge of it. Play flat and their stalker. And since I forgot to fix the atlas, uh, oh, that's very unfortunate that it's not getting fixed for this battle. Hopefully it'll manage, it'll hold up. Hopefully it'll hold up. That's the hope. Hopefully it'll withstand the punishment it is going to have to endure. My pilot rarely, if ever, gets sidelined, so this is one of the few rare occasions where I have to actually use a different pilot. Jesus, that was a big explosion. We're not off to a great start here. 17 hostiles and all we have is a crusader. Already severely damaged. Atlas. A severely, uh, not as severely damaged Battlemaster. And a fully repaired stalker, so... Yeah, I always find it weird how when you zoom out, the Stalker M goes to a not battle damage texture, but when you zoom in, it gets the battle damage texture back. Of course they're gunning for us.
Red Scorp is lighting up with more targets converging on your position, Commander. Stay frosty. They keep piecemealing, we can probably... We might be able to handle it. How many rounds does my light rifle have? 27 shots left. Not many. Alright. Everybody form up on me. We're not dealing with that tiny little tank when we got hostile mechs inbound. Send you guys after the Wolverine. Oh, that wasn't smart of me. There it is. There it is. It's a battle master. I'm, too, I'm, I'm a bit too high. You guys just thank you. Only eight more units left. Recon reports additional forces entering the engagement area, Commander. Be on the lookout for them. One good thing about this thing is that it has an AMS system. So it's able to at least counteract some, some of the missiles. Where? I forget how slow the rifle the rifle rounds are. They are really slow. Targeting info updated. Just start raining it down. Don't be behind me, gentlemen. That VTOL is on our list of targets. Let's make our quarter. Target destroyed. Commander's target. Group up. A grand dragon. Oh, that's at least slightly different than a regular dragon. Good. Now help me out with this thing. Kill it. Great work, Commander. Now let's get out of here. Contract and have a narrow window to evac if you're ready. Major, don't even talk to me about Commander. sticking around for longer. <laughs> <laughs> Do not even get me started. <laughs> Thing is, I'm still probably going to be out of commission. My uh, commander is going to be out of commission for so that's 69 days. Salvage what's left of that battle mask. There is much left. Of it. Oh, a double heat sink. Honestly, we have more than enough double heat sinks at this point. Okay. 
tell you actually what are you compared to oh you're just the same one okay never mind i thought maybe just maybe nope thankfully enough we didn't lose anything important well the uh crusader took a bit of damage on some of its weapon systems but other than that Oh hey, Flat's finally reached mastery. He has fully mastered the Stalker M. Meaning he gets the most efficiency out of it. And Kaz is now uh, average proficiency with the Atlas. Wait the 85 days because <laughs> it's just honestly easier. Just to wait the 85 days. <laughs> For my pilot to recover. That's as close as I can get you without getting shot down. Our employer's invasion force stands ready to invade once we've gained control over the air defenses of this region. Oh, interesting. This one has four satellite up uplinks. And capture the installation. I'll be waiting nearby to pick you up. Our employers can't land dropships until the satellite relays controlling air and orbital weapons are destroyed. Oh, that one's gone. Destroy them. Jesus! That's a lot of artillery. Jesus, run, 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 run! Jesus, these all just lit up. I thought maybe it was just the one of them, but no, all of these just lit up. Jesus. Oh no. Oh no. That's that's not fun. That is not fun. Believe we have to double all the way back for enemy artillery. Oh, that's a that's a mech. That's a mech. All right, so we got to double back down to that corner, take out those two artillery emplacements. <laughs> what is up with the game and throwing artillery? I think I think it went a little over for just how much artillery it felt like it needed to deploy. I know we're in a harder region, but Jesus. Usually it's like maybe like three, four artillery. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Run! There's a target there, apparently. Why don't you guys try to blow it up? Never mind, you're not gonna blow it up. It's in, it's in the ground. Just ignore it. Just ignore it. And ignore it. Running, 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 running.
All right. Pretty much all the enemy artillery has been dealt with. It should be just a clear shot to destroy the last enemy position. Jesus. Oh no, 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 run! Ah. See it. Artillery garrison destroyed. That should hopefully be the last of them. Objective complete, Commander. No, to be fair, I have... Well, the Major has been very wrong in terms of how many artillery emplacements there have been. I don't know why I had to say it like that. But I did. I have no regrets. Oh, that's a mech. It's a Jenner. Take it out. Most of this battle damage you see here is entirely from art artillery. Majority of what we did was just running and hitting artillery. Alpha 1 1, this is Whiskey 6 1. Thanks for clearing up that AA installation. Heard you could use a little backup. We're on our way in. Stand by two mics. Whiskey 6 1, out. Oh, I'm being shot at. Wow, guys, great support. Spider and a fire starter. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no.
It's over there, really. I have to run through this artillery bombardment here. How is it we missed one? Well, two whole, like, artillery positions. Gentlemen, please tell me that that was all of the artillery over there that you killed? And not just one singular gun? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Run faster, Marauder. I'm being shot from behind. Like being shot from behind. How fun is it? There. You guys seriously never finish off that artillery piece. Jesus Christ. Three whole artillery guns. That looks a lot more like tanks than battle mechs. They forgot the mech support in this mech based counter attack. Jesus. 
Raptors can now land. Tierra 1 1 out. This place is a mess. All of this just for some puny little reputation points with the Commonwealth. Any double heat sinks to salvage? Nope. One out of three missions. All right, who took the most damage? Okay. Be careful out there. All right, these three are gonna get fixed up. Uh, definitely take that. Don't. I don't remember if any of our battle mechs actually use the medium rifle though. I know we have the light and heavy rifle in use. You have a tier 5 heavy rifle. Hopefully you never end up losing it. That would be annoying to replace. Swarm, we had something that used a medium rifle. It's not. We'll have to find something to stick this medium rifle on at some point. We swap flat out for. Where's Ella? Ella, 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 Ella. There's Ella. Give them their back. Kaz, swap out for Salone. And the King Crab. Oh, hey, Ella's also reached Mastery Rank with their Stalker. Nice. And as for me, obviously, swap mine out for a different mech. I'm going to swap out for my Catapult J, because the Catapult J has the uh, AMS systems, two of them, which makes it fairly good at being tanky for level 30 difficulty. Where it doesn't have much armor, it makes up an active protection in rather than this direct protection. This if we bring the entire group to justice. So you will have to search the area and Oh, there's only two locations to look, so it's gonna be a bit hard not to find the enemy. Oh, that's a grave. Uh, there we go. Saved it. Wait for the rest of my unit to actually rendezvous with me. Oh, well, there's Haywire. Oh, we are being shot at. another one behind us but honestly I it was a light mech and I don't know where it went so I'm just gonna ignore it and pretend it don't exist bug zap him out of the sky Target engaged. 
intercept readings are showing all targets at this location, Commander. Approach I guess they're over here. Target eliminated. Affirmative. Commander target is now priority. The reactor on my kill is about to go crit. Shifting to your target, Commander. Start. Oh, well, there. Now, somebody ran into me. Oh, there's a lot of a lot of ground targets showing up. Let's pull out. I guess we can blow up one last cicada before we go. Oh, he has a bigger friend. There we go. All hostiles dealt with. That was easy. going to be out of commission for a while. That's not good. Expect limited visibility and sensor malfunctions on this mission. Kind of need the King Crab in action because it's a few fully repaired ones. Up you out, Kaz. We might want to keep this charger just to convert it into another uh, assault mech for us to have. Free, free mech, so might as well. As with our 
Atlas Pilot. Uh, yeah, King Crab's still in decent condition, so that means Flat, you'll be taking it, the Docker M. Scroll down here, sell this off. As for you. Well, it is an assault mech. It honestly doesn't really have an impressive armament. That is a large energy slot, though. And these are medium slots. It's just not been equipped. Okay, yeah, I see why it's under-equipped. Can't really carry all that much. Like, with zero armor, all of these take up every last bit of tonnage. There's nothing else on this besides weapons. The base weight of this is 67.5. Yeah, this really isn't a mech we want to hold on to, honestly. It's an assault class mech for sure, but dear Jesus Christ, I can see why we blow through these things so easily. Alright, repair everything but the King Crab, because the King Crab's going on deployment. Sloan's unfortunately going to have to just deal with the fact that they suffered a minor bruise. Minor. Oh. Oh. We have earned another point with the Federated Commonwealth. Nice. Give me more salvage shares. We're finally on our way to uh, recover to building up our reputation with the Commonwealth. Our employer's invasion force stands ready to invade once we've gained control over the air defenses of this region. Head to the targeted garrison, defeat any forces you encounter, and capture the installation. I'll be waiting nearby to pick you up. Destroy the radar dishes directing the anti-aircraft fire. Once they're gone, our employer promises to land a few extra units to help you out. You know, I can actually see the saddle. Which one's the saddle? Uh, well, oh, if, if we shoot both of them. Here's the acquisition. Major, why didn't you tell me that the acquisition was over there when we were over there? Before we spent all this time walking all the way over here. Focusing on fire on target. You guys should be able to easily take out a panther, especially if it's just equipped with a large laser. Seriously, guys, come on. Couldn't have told me this was here before. Decided to tell me now. After we walked away from it. 48 kilometers an hour. Oh no, there's just another one over there, which I didn't even notice. Oh, good thing I turned around. Target 
How many satellites does that radar installation have? I've blown up two of them. It still says it's active. That poor fellow literally just drove over the edge to take a look to see what blew up his satellite dishes. Immediately got evaporated by particle cannons. Okay, this is a fairly expensive radar facility. It's got three satellites. It's surprising. Walk on up to the treasure to pick it up. Why is it inside of the communications equipment? Scratch that one. It's fine now. Some extra cash never hurt anyone. Of course, once we get the Marauder 2, we probably won't be trying nearly as hard to be on friendly terms with the, uh, Commonwealth. We might still take up odd jobs for them here and there, but the Marauder 2 is really the only reason that's keeping us on their good creases. On this friendly PR campaign to try and restore our reputation with the Commonwealth. That we didn't really have in the first place, but you know. Oh, hey, hostile mech. Jesus, this has just been salvage o'clock down here. Was any of the weapons that we got good? Not really. Can I sell them for money? Yes. Yes, I can. Oh, they're bringing in a whole lance there. Uh, Jenner, Hunchback. Uh, might, might just be a Jenner, a Hunchback, and Javelin. What else is on there? That just it's two Jenners, a hunchback, and an assassin and a javelin that got stuck. You've reached the target facility. There he goes. I always find it comedically funny whenever the mechs get stuck in the bay. Literally last one out the door. Oh, um, <laughs> we get a griffin, too. last defending unit. Uh, I'm gonna like this. 
That poor Urbamek was trying to hide. I feel so bad for him. I feel so bad for him. I can't see. Oh no! There wasn't any when we were looking around to begin with. Why does it have to be in the far corners of the map? The moment I saw a random artillery gun show up on my on my target thing, I was like, yep, this is turning into another one of those missions, isn't it? We're going to have to walk 50 miles away from the base to go and attack the enemy. Artillery guns while I send my other boys to go attack the other enemy artillery guns because I'm not walking all the way over there just to destroy them. These higher difficulty zones have been weird. The Commonwealth has been sending me on a lot of weird missions. Jesus Christ, I wish this thing was faster. They haven't even gotten close to the artillery positions yet. Oh, don't you tell me that all of you are coming back here without having destroyed the target I told you to go kill. Go kill it! That's one set done. And now you guys can come back. Jesus Christ. The enemy artillery has been neutralized. Target destroyed. I'm not even sure if the enemy's final wave has shown up yet.
and an anticlimactic having to walk all the way back to the capture point. Here is where we earn our pay. Incoming bottlenecks, a lot of them. Only four. And it's not even like four battle mechs, it's two tanks in four battle mechs. In two battle mechs. And that looks like it'd be a cool battle to be a part of, or at least to watch. <laughs> Too bad there's this mountain here. Target acquired. All right, we can move out now. That's the fastest I've ever seen them tear through a partisan tank. Conditions are clear for the invasion. All stations, this is Sierra 1-1. Be advised. We've just completed re-entry. Lights are green. Dropships can now land. Sierra 1-1 out. Uh they better be grateful for what we did. Because Jesus Christ. Okay, salvage both the mechs. Double check for. Double heat sinks. Could screw some of this stuff up here. I want those double heat sinks. All this stuff up here just isn't worth it compared to a double heat sink. Thankfully, Force Alone didn't get it. Any more injuries incurred? <laughs> they got, oh, yeah, the a lot of these are mechs that we sold to them because, uh. We <laughs> yeah, th these are all mechs that we've sold. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they very much appreciate the large amount of uh, surplus equipment they now have from the Draconis Combine. <laughs> and none of it may be functional, but, you know, who, who needs functional equipment? Just, just owning is enough, I think, probably. I'll buy those two medium pulse lasers in case I find something I can stick them on. Uh, that's not a contract we're taking up. Uh, let's see, faction standings. Uh, we now have plus one negotiation points. That's not fun. Let's head down here and see if we can pick up any uh, any cool mechs because they like us now more. Maybe they'll give us something cool. Maybe. I'm always asking for too much, aren't I? Alright, no rare mechs here, so not really much point to stick around. So we'll head down to Terra. See if there's any rare mechs in this industrial zone. Uh, there's a few. There's also a hero one over at Yori. 
Let's see if it's a different one than one of the ones that we've seen because we've seen a lot of. A hero mauler. I did say we kind of need another assault mech. And this thing has kind of just slapped itself onto the scene as a well equipable assault mech. So we'll buy it. <laughs> we'll buy it. Then we'll head over to Byland and see what, what they got over here. They have a rare Orion. An awesome Islander. Back. Rifleman. Okay, let's head over to Procyon and then we'll probably. Then we're probably just going to stream after I modify the other mech that we got. Yeah, just another Black Knight and a Banshee. All right, let's take a look at you, and you're going to be our brand new assault mech. Let's strip you of everything. Let's see. You with LRM 15s. I think I can put something bigger in your ballistics. Am I out of AC 20s? Oh, wait, no, that's just because it's a medium ballistic slot. I can't stick in anything higher. Go to a pair of UACs. We can start spending a couple of our double heat sinks on other mechs. Let's see what we can stick on it. Fortified internals, fortified armor. And then even overall damage boost. Energy range of velocity. Ballistic range and velocity. Missile range and velocity. There we go. We got our new mech, which will be entering the combat situation. These two UACs are going to fire in tandem, so that way then that that way then one gun can fire reset and then the other gun can fire and reset that way then to decrease how often these jam with the large pulse lasers to fire at once LRMs and stagger salt stagger I'll be kind of interested to take this thing out for a test spin next stream but uh definitely looks nice Nice. 
head back up here to Republic Space. That way then we can uh, be re somewhat equipped for next time when uh, we actually engage in dealing with all the shenanigans. Oh hey, a grasshopper. Considering the circumstances, we should probably grab a grasshopper as well, especially considering this one's in good condition. Means more pilots I have to hire. Alright, we'll come back here and pick up the grasshopper if whatever's over at Mechum isn't good. Uh, it's another stalker variant, so we already have two, and I honestly don't want to keep adding just more stalker variants because I feel like that would get boring to watch. I gotta start adding some more variety to the mech pool. I do need to start retiring some mechs. Probably majority of Zan's mechs, considering he just... Time schedules don't really sync up between us, so he's never really able to stop by for doing streams anymore. Honestly, I probably should just... He did say it was okay to put some of his uh, mechs in cold storage. Honestly, I'm probably going to do. Because it clears up some inventory space. Anyway, let's mess around with you. Strip you. All your weapons. Do you get a small missile slot? Put that with LRM5s. Better LRM5. Uh, we did pick up a, some medium pulse lasers. Motive upgrade slot. Uh, well, we really only have the supercharger, so honestly, not really worth whatever it's whatever it is meant to do. So we don't need the jump jets. All right, we'll need LRM ammo. Really, honestly, only need the one. And the rest of it can just be into armor. Actually, we'll go with two LRM half ammos. That way then we can spread out the uh, ammunition storage. Just to prevent all of it going up in one go. And our pair of single heat sinks. Yeah, that pretty much does that. As for paint... Uh, which paint scheme looks the best on this? I kinda like that. As for upgrades, internal structure, refined armor, and let's see. He uses two different damage types, so I guess we'll just grab damage. And I'll grab the energy and velocity. Because the energy weapons will need to be a little bit extra ranged. Because all she's got is a missile launcher and a handful of lasers. She's kind of under-equipped. The Grasshopper is a bit of a strange assault mech. At least I think it's an assault, uh, I think it's an assault mech. I assume it is. It might not be. What, what is it considered? Oh no, it, it, it's a heavy mech. 
because the Marauder is a heavy mech and it has 75 cost. Yeah. I think anything above 80 is considered an assault mech. So honestly, we probably didn't need to buy this, but we have it now anyways, so we got to look at that. It's pretty much just a worse version of this. This thing is a beast. Don't you have a medium rifle? No, you have an AC-5. I think I wanted to fit a medium rifle onto you, but uh, we just didn't have the storage space for it. That are the... Alright, let's see. That weighs 8 tons. How much does this weigh? 5 tons. Comes with 12.3 damage. Honestly, for the space-saving measure, the additional damage, it's honestly worth it. And it gives it some additional space, too. Get a few more uh, heat sinks. And just because I am insane, we'll stick another ammo in it. In the torso. Because that's the safest place to put the ammo. Also, probably should swap out these medium lasers. Or better medium lasers. Yep. Have we gotten any better LRM5s? Not really. Now it has some additional cooling capabilities. So her gun is definitely going to be a bit slower to fire. Should hopefully do a decent amount of additional damage output to make up for it. But anyway, that is where we shall end today's stream. I'm going to find a raid target for you all. See who there is to raid tonight. All right, we're going to go raid this cute, adorable bean. All right, we'll be back tomorrow with Phantom Brigade for real this time because playing Mech Warrior three times in a row would be a bit unfair to anybody that actually cares to watch my Phantom Brigade stream. Don't know if anybody cares about that one, but I care about it, so therefore I'm going to do it tomorrow. Tomorrow will be Phantom Brigade. Saturday, I genuinely don't know what I'm going to do Saturday. Something, probably. I don't know what it'll be, but it'll be something. Until then, have a nice rest of your evening. I hope to see you all again tomorrow. And enjoy the cute, adorable bean I am sending you off to.